I'm Steve Petra, and we are going to be exploring some techniques and concepts I like to use to bring a fun visual impact to my puppet performances. So, let's get visual. Let me introduce you to my recipe for visual puppet gumbo. Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna get sick! No, no, you're fine. I'm gonna throw off. No, be quiet. <laughs> Is that the last banana? Mm -hmm. This is a piece of vine I got at a floral store. It matched pretty closely to what's already on the puppet. And this side is attached with a piece of fishing line. This way it has some bounce, has some natural motion to it. Ay ay ay! <laughs> we got a problem here. What's the matter? I shook Granddad's hand. Yeah? He turned into... No. This is where the scenario stays intact and everything else goes out of control. I love this. All right, Julia Sneasel, you sit down right here. Wow! Are you crazy? I forgot about that. Now I have a frozen caboose. A running gag can be simply verbal, it can be visual, and it can have a sound effect. Don't forget to escalate, and this time, the puppet doesn't win. I've got a what on my head? Because I'm going to introduce a creature that... <laughs> Hello, Davey. All right, that does it. Give me that cell phone. You ready? Here we go. And then she just moves underneath the brick a bit, give it a little sway, and then you can just take it right off. You've seen the ingredients in action. Now let's see what new routines and shows you can come up with by adding your own personality to the mix. And remember, keep the audience involved. <laughs>